Shower. That's already taken care of. <laughs> uh, I need my... <clears throat> What is up guys? Welcome back. How's I broadcasting coming back to you guys live again here tonight? It's been a while. Excited to be back. If you looked at the title ERL development series tonight, race number one here at Richmond. Before we get into the details though, I got my boss, Martin in the booth. What's going on, Martin? Your boss, man. Oh, that makes me feel good. Yeah, my <laughs> boss. I drive for this guy every week. Um, but yeah, no, man. Uh, development series opening up tonight for exclusive racing league. Super excited to get the series going. Um, pretty good turnout tonight. Uh, short tracks so to open up the season. Richmond always interesting to start out at a short track. Most leagues don't do that, but of course we're in the middle of a season and starting a second series for exclusive. We're growing. We're growing quickly. Um, let's get into it, Martin. Um, is there anything you want to talk about, discuss before we? Um, they're qualifying now, obviously, but is there anything you want to bring up before we get into the race? Just like you said, we're, we're growing fast, and we got a good bunch of group, good guys, and we, we ran out of room. We got 30 in the field for Sunday's races, so we're trying to trying to grow and have a spot for our relief drivers because we offer relief drivers for the Sunday League. You know, they can use relief drivers three times up to the championship run. And, you know, because everybody, some people have to work and some people have vacations, so we try to give them some free time. So we just needed to make a leg to have a pool to drive, pull them from. So that's where we're going to start with this tonight. Yeah. And then um, our commentators get a chance to come in and race. So we got we got yeah. uh, two of our commentators in here, and then we got our production guy in here tonight. So the guys that do all the work on Sundays get to come in here and have some fun. Yeah, uh, that sounds like a lot of great ideas, Martin. Um, of course, these guys have the opportunity um, to, to race as a uh, hot seat driver. So if they are to, to win here in the development series, they are locked into the field and eligible to race with the big guys on Sunday, the big group, 30 of us on Sunday. Um, of course, the, the better they do, the, the more chances they're going to be at potentially filling in for guys when they miss. And if guys get the boot or get uh, maybe they, they quit, they could find themselves racing full-time in the top series potentially this season and it's a long season so there's a good chance some of that'll happen so these guys racing you know there's a lot to race for tonight of course uh, if none of that happens they still have a championship to race for here in the developmental series of course keeping track of standings and the rules are the same everything's the same um, for, as our Sunday League all the rules point system everything's gonna be the same I'm gonna go through some of the drivers that I saw were racing the night um, we have 16 guys on our roster. We have 10 to start out the season, so not too bad of a turnout. Um, was hoping for a little more, but again, season opener uh, is looking to be a really good race here tonight. You know, Richmond short track, um, always some good action in short tracks, some braking, some lifting skills. Um, you know, guys going to have to build a long run car, so this is a great first race. You know, some of these guys, it's going to be their first race on Sunday. I bring up somebody like Technosi. Um, his he's already gonna be a full-time driver this season on the Sunday League um, uh, Sunday will be his first race we got like uh, Martin said our broadcasting guys with Swamp and Big Rig and Shackett and some of those guys in the field tonight along with some guys that are full-time in uh, the Sunday League such as Bow Hunter and uh, Wrigley Dust we got guys like Mac Attack in here tonight so um, Rob GZ uh, you know so a lot of good guys in here tonight. Really excited to see what these guys are going to do. Um, getting invites. Haven't got the queue to join yet, but... Is there anything else, Martin, we should discuss before we start looking at some action? I don't think. I just, it, you, yeah, you will see a couple of Sunday drivers that are in here. But our rule is, if you're 20th in points and back, you deserve to show up to come in here and race with these guys and give you some more practice. So, um, the only rule is that we will not let anybody in the top 16 racing this league because we don't want it to make it about them we want to make it about the new guys and race around even the guys that look back in the points so 100 percent. just waiting for the queue to get in here and join and see what these guys got i'm going to be curious to see you know who's going to start off the development series on tap um Got the I, don't know. I was either. I was taught thinking Shaq it was and Shaq it was saying he's thinking Mac was going to be the guy so uh, we'll have to see who's who. 
yeah, really excited. Um, you know, again, this is the first race. This is the first opportunity these guys are going to have at, you know, catching the attention of the, the team motors. Um, Trudef, Pittman, Shovelhead, uh, Ken Rod, and they consider Martin an owner as well. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, those guys probably going to be tuning in, going to be watching, seeing what's going on, um, looking at these guys to see potentially if there's any issues, any spots to open up. Um, which has already been a few this season. So we'll see if any of these guys get the nod potentially this week. Of course, like we said, the race winner will have an automatic nod to race on Wednesday. And we just got the queue to join. Let's go get in here. Good. Let's see. Who's starting on the or pole? Or potentially bad. <laughs> yeah. Technasi on the pole. Shackett third or second. Rob third. Looks like a couple guys didn't qualify. <laughs> I know there was one that lagged out in qualifying, so he had to start in the back automatically, and some of them come a little late. Our, our start time for qualifying is 8.45, no ifs, ands, or buts. I mean, so. If you're not here, you're not racing. So we don't wait. I'm sure throughout this broadcast, it's going to be a long race, a long 50 percenter. Um, what is it, 200 laps, I think? Yeah, 200 laps yeah, 200. at Richmond. So it's going to be a long one. So I'm sure we'll, we'll have plenty of time to talk about the Sunday group and what's been going on in the Sunday series and talk about some big things coming ahead for ERL. But here we are, Technasi, Shackett, and Rob GZ, those three out front. We're a couple laps into this thing already. Hootie Hoo, Bow Hunter. Kind of going through this field, Mac Attack, Big Rig, our broadcaster from Sunday. There's a Sunday driver in Slow Marrow, TCR D Dubs as well. Sunday driver, Swamp Rash, uh, got a great thing going on with his channel. I'd uh, advise everybody to go check it out. An awesome broadcast, giving everybody many views to watch our Sunday race from on his channel. So go check him out. But out from Martin, we got a three car runaway. Yeah, they're, they're already starting to gap the field a little bit. I'm actually back in bow on her. Trying to watch the whole field as they go around, but they got, third's got about five car lengths between third and fourth, so they're already trying to shine and show what they got, so. I'm excited to see what Technasi's got because he, again, like I said, his first race in the Sunday group will be this week as he has got the nod to race full time for Gibbs. Racing for Pittman. It'll be awesome to see what he can do tonight. He's going to get some extra practice heading into the race on Sunday, Sunday night. Shackett, I raced with Shackett earlier this week while running practices here. I know Shackett's quick. He's got a good short run. He's even got a good long run car. As these two are starting to gap even third place now with Rob. Um, he joined the league today. Was super excited to add him to the group. Yeah, some of these guys have progressed over time. And being the first night, some of them didn't even really get in and practice with any of our other guys. So they'll start to learn what it's all about and say, hey, I, I need to put more time in. Yeah, he's got about six rubs back. I'd say about a good ten car lengths, huh? From from second, so they're starting to separate themselves pretty good. It's going to be interesting to see. Of course, uh, Technasi and Shaq is starting to drive away here on the short run, but it is a long run to the end. I think it's fifty something laps to a tank. I think not a hundred percent sure. It is, sure. but the first stage is only like thirty-seven. So we'll really see what some of these cars, because they won't have to fit on this first one. The stages are really messed up. I think it was thirty-seven, then fifty some. Um, it was really weird on this one. Usually the first stage is longer than, than the second one, but it's, it's reversed on this track tonight. So, yeah, I think if the first stage is, well, you said 37 laps, so I assume the Somewhere second one and the third one are probably going to be pretty close. I'm not sure. From what I remember I running here, the, yeah, th I the can't second remember. is if the first one's 37 laps, and this is a 200 lapper, I think the second and third, oh, you know what? The third stage is probably over 100 laps. Yeah. Yeah, well, these guys are not going to have to run the full tank here in the first stage, but starting to see Tech put a little bit of a gap on Shackett. Looks like they're out there doing parade laps from fifth on back. It's just they're all gapped and uh, seeing what they got. They're not really pressing each other. So we get, we get about 30 laps in in this run. We'll see whose car's got what. Exactly. And you know what? Some of these guys, like I said, towards the front here with kind of being a two-car runaway early on in this one with uh, Shackett and Technasi trying to get them back on the screen there they are with those two being as close and gap in the field the way they are it's gonna we're gonna find out pretty quickly who falls off quicker than the other as we it's see a pass for the lead. lead 
Tech going to give it to him. Shaka going to get cleared through one set of corners. Tech Nasi is going to fight back on the outside. A run off the corner. We figured that wouldn't be long, right? Shaka Shaka likes to be out front. <laughs> yeah, Shaka likes to lead laps and shows what he's got. Um, Tech Nasi falling here to second place. A little bit of a gap now between himself and Shaka. But like I said, the longer we get into this run, it's going to be interesting. Does Shaka fall off or does Shaka actually maybe gain a little bit more throughout the long run? And, you know, some of these guys that are falling back, but not too far. The 99 is taking over second of Hootie Who and then Rob and the 8 of Wrigley Dust. Maybe one of those three will come on strong here at the end of the run. But Shaka and Tech running away with it early. Yeah, they're trying to stink up the show a little bit, aren't they? Yeah, it looks like it. Hopefully those two stick together so we can at least see a run to the finish. Um, that, that's pretty close, but regardless, um, those two out front right now. TCR Bill Hunter running along with him. Swamp Rash just got past him. Rig actually up there. A few more spots. Cool. Got these, these guys working hard. Yeah, I practiced with Shaq a little bit last night. Uh, he seemed to have a good car. We were kind of even, but uh, the more the run went on, he would get loose off of two. So we'll see if he made an adjustment according to that and try to get a better long run car. But that was more like 40 laps into the run, so it might even not even show this at first stage. Oh, Mac attack Sunny and underneath Slow Marrow. A little bit of contact. I don't think Slow Marrow expected Mac to make the move there into that corner. They gave each other enough room to get through the corner. Mac attack taking the spot from Slow Marrow. Close contact racing looked pretty clean though. So far this race, incident free. Nobody's spinning out. Everybody has control of their cars. That's always a plus. We need one of them caution buttons so we can bunch them back up. I know, right? Competition <laughs> caution, 20 in. <laughs> we should mandate that. <laughs> I think we probably have a few drivers fighting us. That's not fair. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, with the third second... Third, fourth, and fifth group there. They look pretty tight. We got a pass here for second. Looks like Rob is taking over second place, but who do you trying to take it back? We've seen a That's couple. That's for third. That's for uh, third. You're losing count already. <laughs> did I say for second? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just combined Shaq and Tech. They're both first right now. <laughs> oh, they're so close. They're on. They're both first. <laughs> yeah, they're they're way out there. We're fighting for second. So no battle for third here. Man, I ain't broadcasting <laughs> too long. <laughs> All right, You're doing pretty good. Like that. <laughs> you just got me in here calling you out. See, most people probably wouldn't even notice. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Gotta keep me on my toes. Gotta get back into form. It's been too long. I've only done a handful of broadcasts since uh, the Misfits Racing League existed. What was it four, three years ago well, now at this point? About so. three years ago. Yeah, you started out with that. You and Billy were, were broadcasting the sla our slaughter league. Yeah, that that. Yeah, that was three years ago. It actually would have been... Yeah, it would have been three years ago. Been a while, and I've only done a handful of broadcasts since then, so glad to be back in the booth and to finally have an opportunity to uh, spend every week, or every Wednesday night doing it, every week, so... Awesome, excited to be back in the booth. Again, hoping to grow this, develop this uh, developmental series, because again, only 10 cars in here tonight. If they get uh, into the big show on Sunday... You can triple that, and that's the amount of cars that's expected to be there. We've had 30 show up every single race except Road America, which is expected. It's a road course. Um, so we've had 30 cars every week so far in our top series. Um, so except for the night uh -huh. Dan decided he wasn't going to show up for Vate. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got to a jab at Dan. But... Uh, <laughs> Battle here, right yeah, behind you. Yeah, we've been 30, 30, what are we, six races in? We've been 30 every week besides last week because we did a bunch of driver changes. Some uh, guys weren't grooving with us, so we decided to let some go and until we got the spots filled, so we put the count down a little bit, but I think it'll be back up this week. Yeah, I mean, again, these guys know what they're fighting for. You know, 30 cars, a lot of opportunity to gain points, a lot of opportunity to lose points, and you know what? Martin, we've had great racing, I feel like, so far this season. Daytona was incident-free. Um, Atlanta was a little bit of a mess, but I still I still don't feel like Atlanta was horrible. Probably because right. I won. <laughs> but Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it looks a lot brighter when you're out front, huh? It looks great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? But I, I was still in the middle of the pack. I, I, I thought it was fine. There was just some bumping. But, I, like I always said, when you start a new league, 
I mean, we practiced over the winter, but we still added more new guys when we when we yeah. went into the season opener. But it takes five or six races for everybody to gel. You know, even if you're a guy out there starting a the league, don't get discouraged just because it's not going well. You got to get five or six races in and just keep the guys, you know, talking to each other. And if they get in and get into each other, make sure they work it out. And that's the yeah. main thing. Don't build tempers. Have fun. Yeah, and, and even though, yeah, Atlanta may not have been a great race, but you know what? We had the exact same field with everybody showing up a week later at Vegas and turned out to be an awesome race. I think we yeah. only had a couple cautions in that one. And that one turned out to be an amazing race. And uh, then we went on to... Oh, um, um, no. Uh, what was mm-hmm. after Atlanta? Uh, I don't know. You're the young one that all his memory, not me. Phoenix. <laughs> then we went on to Phoenix. Phoenix yeah. And we had only a couple cautions there. Um, then we went on to Bristol, which was... The first stage was good. The second stage was good. The third stage was a little messy. Um, so again, for Bristol, I don't think that race was awful by any means because again, well, the first two stages were good. For 30 cars on one track, good. I think it went pretty, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, and and again, so. I feel like I mean, I've never raced a league on this game with 30 cars, and to take it to a short track and it felt realistic, like lapping cars and having full fuel runs and co- like it was the most realistic race I've ever been a part of. So. I'm really excited to come to Richmond because, again, it's a short track. Probably going to have some lap traffic and, and going to have long runs. You know, cars fall off here. So there's going to be passing. And if, if it's anything like the real-life Bristol race, <laughs> people are going to fall off. And it's going to create racing. So um, really excited to, to come here to Richmond. Um, a great race last week at Road America. Again, no cautions. So that is our third race this season, I think, with no cautions. So, uh, yeah. You know, with 30 cars and to have half your races, no cautions, and only, I'd say, two of them a disappointment. Um, and, and I have an asterisk by Bristol because it was only the third stage. Like, the first two stages were, right. I think, caution-free. Yeah, and so. there were some glitches, too. So, I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know, one, maybe one or two of them cautions were just because of guard, car glitch. And it doesn't glitch, so it was just in the game. So, I, I mean, I was there, and Pittman put me down pit road because this car glitch put us both down pit road. And he never glitches, so it's sometimes it's just things you can't help. Well, as we talk about lap traffic, Martin, as Shacket and Tech, who they've not separated too much between each other, they've got lap traffic right in front of them. Here we go, Shacket, going by going TCR Dubs. Dubs. Yeah. Dubs gonna give him room, move out of the way. <coughs> Hicker Austin, <clears throat> uh, Shacket <laughs> and Tech by their first car. A lap down, and now they come up on, I think that's Swamp? Yeah, it looks like Swamp. Car, yeah, Swamp. Yeah, that's Swamp. Shackett said I'll go around the inside. Tech wants to go around the outside. I didn't do it, though. Go oh, into the a little bit. Jack and now starting to put a little bit of a gap. I can hear it. I think Tech's kind of falling off a little bit. He's not getting into the gas the same way Shaq it is. You can hear him checking up, probably getting a little loose off the corners as we get further yeah, into the run. I see him a little wiggly going in, so I don't know if he's just not getting his car set. He's probably yelling at that lap car. Get out of my way right now. <laughs> Yeah, and that's another thing is at the end of the run when you, you know, typically you make passes off the corner and you get side by side to pass from going into the next corner. It's hard to do that when you can't get on the gas coming out of the corner. You know, you have to yank it a little bit harder to get the car underneath the car you're trying to pass. And, you know, hand over fist, turning left, car's already out of shape. It's hard to make passes coming off the corner at the end of, you know, at the end of the run. So I think that's... Tech was being a little bit cautious there, getting by the lap car. Finally got by Swamp, and we'll see if he can't run Shack it down. Try and see how far back third place is. Still in range. It looks like they have gapped each other a little bit. That's Rob, uh, Hootie Who, and Wrigley Dust. Those three have gapped each other pretty good. Looks like Mac Attack has actually run down Hootie Who. And he's trying to make a run here. Slow Marrow not too far behind him. So, I'm not sure, were you joking there uh, before the race started? Is Shaq get eligible to run Sunday, or is he a booth guy? Yes, he, he is. is. We discussed it. Looks like we're at the end yeah. of the stage here. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> uh, it's going to be the only one that goes quick tonight. <laughs> right. 
stack them back up and see what they got. Now they get to get some adjustments in finally and this longer run will really see and they, I've seen most of them will probably split the stage as long as they're spread out. You know, on Sundays we're, we're kind of like, do we want to pit? Do we want to go a lap down or do we want to stay out? And I hope somebody else makes the caution. It's a big decision, but with 10 guys it's a little bit easier when they're all spread out. So I would probably split the stage if it was me just to maximize the, the grip level. Yeah, and you know what? These short tracks, they have a massive opportunity for uh, uh, for uh, pitting strategy because when you go to a mile and a half and you're on two times where you get probably 20-something laps to a tank, and if you short pit you know, with 30, 40 laps left in the run, draft, you, short pitting is just such a disadvantage in mile and a half. But short tracks, where you have 50, 60 laps to a tank, or if you go to Bristol and you have 120 laps to a tank, and you're running full fuel runs, and you're able to, to pit 30 laps sooner and come out, you know, half a lap ahead, and maybe there's not much, you know, many laps left in the stage, and you don't, you, you could win a race off a of strategy. And short tracks, <laughs> short pitting, staying out longer, you could even take, you know, two tires and, and withhold and not fall off like a rock. So, I don't know short if the two-tire option is very good for most of the time in our Sunday league because it's no, it's, it's all not. getting get her done. <laughs> it's probably not. Unless it's a short caution where it's only you got like three or four laps on your tires. But our guys, most of ours take four every time. You see that one guy that tries it and he goes to the back in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, on restarts, it's definitely not a good idea. But like if you're in the middle of a run and you only have 20 laps left, you think your left can make yeah, it? Yeah, green flag, yes. It's an I agree option. With. But, uh, Looks like Shackett, Tech, and Rob trying to drive away again. Mac Attack has crept into that fourth spot. And I, I don't think he started in the top seven or eight because, what was it? We had the three-car breakaway and then another three cars, so he was at least seventh or eighth. So Mac Attack has drove his way to fourth. Maybe Shackett was right. Maybe Mac just didn't get – was he the one that didn't get to qualify? I'm not sure. He's coming through the field. I'm not sure. Mac Attack into that fourth position. Slow Marrow right behind him. You got Big Rig going through the field again here, checking out any position changes. But for the lead, Shaq and <coughs> Tech putting a gap on third again. Do a little run through the field here, and uh, let's uh, kind of introduce everybody. I mean, we got some broadcasters in here that help us out, and really want to give them a shout out. Uh, we got the four car Shaq, and he's a part time broadcaster uh he comes in and trades off with stewart sometimes and i think he he wants to become either the full-time racer or full-time broadcaster so <laughs> um and then we got uh big rig he's in the what's he in the nine car so he's he's our main broadcaster he's the one that, that likes to do the talking and enjoys and he does a really good job I have to thank him for the time he puts in it's a lot of time to be a broadcaster i mean some of these guys just get on and talk but uh, he's putting a lot of work in behind. We're doing, making this fluid grow. He's working on logos and and uh, just the different streams. Uh, we got Swamp in here. Swamp's the technical guy. He's the one. If you go to the exclusives page, he's the one that puts all the drivers together on there. And makes that cool, awesome broadcast. And uh, the the way they do it, it's it's an awesome job. So I mean, they're just to give a rundown like when they're in the booth Swamp's in there he's talking to them guys you just can't hear him he's saying hey I'm changing this feed I'm changing this feed and and Rig and, and Shack it they got to keep up with that it's it's all a really awesome work behind the scenes and it's it's underappreciated a lot for sure I have to agree with you Martin um, I've never seen that tactic used in all of uh broadcasts over the years um, where you have somebody talking in your ear planning you know we're mm -hmm. gonna show this logo or we're gonna show the point standings or the schedule or we're gonna talk about this driver or that driver yeah, commercials, commercials yeah Pro you know the promotions they've done for you know the winners of the season so far because I've seen they've gone back and they've talked about what's already happened this season maybe feuds between drivers rivals they've talked about you know like you said commercials and to have the tactic you know they can't just come on sit down in the chair hang out drink a beer and chill because they've literally got to be focused because something's coming in their ear and in, you know then they have to count 20 seconds from now this it's going to be on the screen and they can't see it they just they have to talk about it and hope it's there and yeah. <laughs> as far as i'm concerned this season so far they've done an amazing job as swamp looks like he's going to pit road I'm not oh, yeah. sure i think 
I'm not sure if he got... I'm not sure. I think he was trying to pit there. Of course, we haven't seen pit stops yet, and the rule for this league, you must enter in turn three for at least most tracks. Yeah, they're still under the same rule as Sunday. Sunday, you got to get down to the bottom and, and warn everybody you're pitting because, like, Sunday's league, it's a little bit different. We don't chat much in our chats. Um, you just got to stay down low. There's none of that state of the wall, out wall, outer wall, and arc it in there. We don't do none of that here. You get down in the lane where you're not in the way of the racing groove. So I just wonder if it was damage or what. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I, maybe yeah, it'll just, go one lap down. Maybe just an experience of trying to, you know, this new pit format because it is something you have to practice. Um, yeah. It, you know, especially at Richmond. You know, it's hard to get into pit road um, because there's really there's no room to get down in turn three. Yeah, you know, that wall continues all the way. Uh, let's see if I can find somebody right there. Um, yeah, he went past it try and find somebody that's going into turn three and you guys can see that wall there on the bottom there's not a lot of room especially if somebody tries to go into the pit side by side you can see that oh, inside the 99, wall 99 just brushed the wall and the eighth's going around him right now uh, the only rule i told him is make sure that dotted line going into turn three that they're below that so they're they're not uh in the race groove and one thing that might be harder than getting on a pit road is probably getting off a of pit road this pit road exit is slick <laughs> um, and you might want to exit part, yeah. in second gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they got to enter back on the back stretch, so they got to run that apron the whole way around turn one and two. Well, it's it could get really hairy sometimes. So Swamp has completed his stops, so and now he's going to be out on the track with the freshest tires. His stop for this stage has been made. Do you know? Do they need to make another one? I'm I don't sure. know. I don't think I can. Actually, we can pull up Big Rig Stream. Once I find where I drop my fan. Big Rig's broadcasting tonight, so if anybody's watching his stream, uh, let's see. You can kind of go back in here and look. I never even give it a thought. See, that's why I don't make a good broadcaster. <laughs> I don't do my homework. It is showing lap 18 of 74. Let me make sure I'm on. Yep. So that was per, uh, pretty early quit um, pit for Swamp. Well, if you have 50-something laps to a tank, he only needs to run between 15 and 20 laps. So, and I'm not sure if he even made that, but... 56 laps to go on this stage, so yeah. I'm going to say he either got bumped down the pits, or he had so much damage that he wanted to go get it fixed. Well, from what it looked like, I actually saw it happen live. I'm not sure if... Something happened on his entry into turn three, mm. um, and he hit the inside wall and then Rig ran into the back of him because he came back onto the track a little bit. So maybe let's go check out Rig's car and see if there's any damage to the, be the left front. Uh, that car looks pretty good. We got the, we got the broadcast boots beating each other up. That's not good, is it? <laughs> <laughs> They got to sit next to each other for an hour and a half on Sunday. They better call it. They do a lot more than that. It's it's a daily conversation between them two. Just to keep in, in touch, you know. And he is. I mean, the other night we spent, I think, about four hours him, uh, Big Rig, Swamp, and I making Legos. Making one Lego. Four hours. Wow. That's dedication. Uh, that's, yeah. And for and and for them to put that much dedication into a league they're not even racing in, believe me, it takes a, a lot more concentration, and I feel like it's a lot more worth your time to show up and race. But to show up and watch a race, I'm super glad to be able to give them an opportunity to come in on Wednesdays and, and get themselves into the league, you know, racing wise, because they put a lot of time in for our Sunday group. Um, they do. I'm telling you, go check out Swamp's channel. I I checked it out and watched the Sunday race from Swamp's. Uh, what he had going on there and you know he had six seven different camera angles he was promoting all kinds of things it was insane um, and like I said the process in which they do that is not simple so you know of course we appreciate everything the broadcasters are going to do as we have a race for well maybe not swamp on fresh tires trying to get by third place Rob into the wall off of turn two I was back here on big rig he's having a tough time tonight he actually went from using his wheel to the controller and like can you I don't know if that's gonna transition. <laughs> he hope he made that transition before the race. 
he, yeah, he was practicing earlier tonight, but he has a problem with his knee. It pops out of place, and he can't use the brake. So oh. anytime there's a braking track, he's going to have to use his controller. His knee pops out of place? Yeah. Like yep. it dislocates? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So he, he can't rotate it as his right foot back and forth so I said use both of these as I can't <laughs> yeah well riding in front of Bow Hunter here um, Bow Hunter is a driver for Penske I think yeah he's part of a pe the Shovelheads Penske team in our Sunday group getting some extra practice in here tonight um, we'll go through the field and talk about the, the drivers that are not broadcasters since we gave the broadcasters uh, quite the attention Wrigley Dust driver for RCR True Death um, is the team captain there. Wrigley Dust is off to a pretty good start the season. I feel like Wrigley Dust. So talk about Wrigley Dust. So of course we were at Road America last week, and to be honest with you, I think Wrigley was on practicing more than anybody last week. Anytime I wanted to get on and practice, he was on. So if none of my teammates were on, or if they were on playing Snow Runner, <laughs> Wrigley oh, Dust, was, <laughs> Wrigley Dust was there to get me in a lobby, and he had a good car. He got himself down to two hundred ones, which is a good lap at Road America, faster than most of the field. So. Actually, a lot of guys are running 201s, but it's hard to run 201s. So, Wrigley does an issue down the front stretch. I think he took the whole front stretch there to save the car from getting loose off of a four, but still rolling smooth. So, give him some props. Mac Attack has joined us here Wednesday night to run the developmental series. Of course, he can't run Sunday. He runs in Powerhouse, but more than happy to give him a place to run here on Wednesday night. Always love Mac Attack. Known him for a long time. He's put a lot of work in on getting better, having a good race tonight. We talked a lot about Big Rig. Uh, Slow Marrow, driver for, well, what car? He runs the 7. Is that RCR or is that Hendrix? I think that's Hendrix. The 7's RCR. Is it RCR? He, he okay. runs for True, yeah. All right, Slow Marrow, driver for True Death. Um, getting some extra practice in here tonight for the developmental group. Uh, TCRD Dubs. I assume that's Penske because it's a Ford. Dubs, yes, he's Penske. Yeah, I was. Yeah, it looks like yeah, because other the only other Ford is uh, be Stuart Haas. So yeah, Penske driver here for uh, TCRD Dubs, of course. Shovelhead running that team. Talked a lot about Swamp Tech Nasi. Talk about <coughs> Tech. So um, in one of my leagues that I ran a while back, um, a slider league, just running for fun on Saturday nights. I don't even remember who brought him in. But somebody, like I said, I don't even know who brought him in, but somebody brought him in, and he was doing well. He was fast, he was competitive, and after a couple races, I messaged him, and I'm like, dude, I got to get you an FTR. We got to bring you into the Pro Series. Um, I'm like, I'll, I'll send you my setups. I'll send you whatever, just because he didn't know how to make a setup. He only ever ran sliders, but he was quick, and uh, he went in there and was one of the best drivers in Pro Series, enough to move to Elite. Um, the following season and he's earned his way already to the Sunday group in ERL so super excited to see what Technasi can do um, having a good run here battling for the lead all race so far with Shaq and he's been patient just riding behind uh, as we see Bow Hunter and Big Rig getting well out of the way of these two good uh, sportsmanship letting the leaders go by uh, as I tried through, to post our uh, exclusive thing to your feed but I think you must have the under 18 lock on because it's not let me post it in the chat let's see if i, I should have where are you trying to post it in your live chat on your stream i don't know why i, can't I don't have it. any restrictions i don't let kids watch my stuff and no, i'm just playing is it coming um, up because i can't i, see I don't shackets. think you can i don't think you can send links into the comment section of i even streams. just just said yo and it's not doing nothing really i see yo hmm. on there do you yeah okay yeah, I don't, I don't think you can send links and uh... Well, son of a gun. So... Darn it. But, uh, yeah, Rob brought him in today. Solid third place run so far. Good start for Rob into this series. Hootie Who! Um, I think it was True Death brought him in. Somebody brought him in. I think it was True. Um... Having a pretty so. good run so far. He's ran top five, top six most of this race. So, Hootie Who off to a good start. Bow Hunter, back to where we started. Penske driver. So, that's our field tonight. As we see. I think uh, we got dubs in the pits already. I think he just. I don't know. Hung it up. 
He's probably going to make an adjustment. He's got to get ready for Sunday. <laughs> oh, we have a pass for the lead. Technosy is taking the lead from Shackett. Getting on these longer runs. We'll get to see who's got the better car in the long run. Shackett has not let him drove away, but these two have been the dominant cars today. We're on lap 40 of 74. So we're getting, we're getting in that... Uh, Middle, we're past the halfway point in this stage, so we'll see if they're going to pit or they're going to stay out. What would you do, Eagles? Um, well, with the stage being 74 laps, I do like fresher tires. Um, these, the longest you can run would be 50-something laps. So even if you run that whole thing down, if somebody is to short pitch you, they're, they're going to be you're going to come out of the pits, and if they short pitch you by two, three, four laps. You're going to have two or three, four last fresher tires, which means probably a tenth, tenth and a half, maybe even two tenths if you're good on the short run that you're going to have. And they're not going to gain, but maybe a second on you. You're going to get them in 20 laps. If they short pitch you by 10 laps, they might come out two and a half, three seconds ahead. They're going to be half a second off. You're easily going to run them down. If they short pitch you by 30 laps, they again, they might be ahead by four, five, six seconds. They're going to be a second slower than you. So I like, I always like uh, staying out. Um, I always like the fresher tires, especially because if you have multiple pit cycles, well, now you can stretch it even double. So you might have stretched it four or five laps. Now, even if that guy runs their tank out, they're going to be four or five laps less than you. So you can, if they decide to short pit again, next thing you know, you have eight lap fresher tires and they fall behind. So I, I like staying out. Now, say there's only, I don't know, five, ten laps left in the stage after pit stops. Heck, they could even take right sides. Um, I'm always down for, for short pitting there because you're not going to gain back the time in 5 or 10 laps. So, With this one being 20-something laps past the tank, and they're probably not going to run their tank out unless they plan on running 50 laps, I definitely like staying out at least one lap longer than the other guy. Get some advantage over him. And Tech is putting a gap on Shackett. He's figured that long run out. Yeah, I said Shackett's a little bit freer on the longer run, so I don't... I don't know. Man, you just took out one little question and just spent five, ten laps explaining what you were going to do. Man, you're eating up the time. <laughs> <laughs> On pitch strategies. <laughs> oh, lap 46. 46 to 74. That's providing rig is, rig is probably, what, a lap down right now? Um, There's only a couple cars that went a lap down. I don't think rig <laughs> is. Mm. Unless he already made a pit stop, which we see some guys in the pits here. Slow Mario currently in the pits. Somebody just came out of the pits. I don't know if that was Mac Attack. But Shaq is starting to fall off now. Maybe he should short pit before he continues to lose ground on Tech. You know, the bigger, the more ground Tech gains on Shaq, it, that's that could play into his. He's pitting right now. Pitting. I was going to say, the more ground Tech gains on nice Shaq, it, is the more of uh, advantage he's going to have coming out of the pits. If Tech pit, or if uh, Shackett pits a second behind Tech, that's a second he has to gain to even grab the lead from him. Mind you, you know he's gonna have worse tires now, but we'll see if Tech makes it on that one lap advantage. Down pit road, Tech Nasi. Now it's time to see who, you know, with the the, the pitting into turn three. You can easily lose or gain time getting in and off pit road. We have added that element into play. You know, if you're cautious getting in, you could lose a lot of time. Shackett is still in pit road. Coming out now. Ooh. It's going to be close. Tech just got in a stall. Shackett entering three. Going to be close. I assume Shackett will gain some time, a short pit by one lap, but we'll see if that long run car by Tech plus a lot fresher tires will pay dividends. Is Tech already off pit road? He is. I was wondering if Shackett got a penalty there because for him to come completely around. Well, I don't think he got uh, a penalty. He's not 15 seconds back, he's about three seconds back. Uh, okay, maybe he took a little bit easier going in pit road. That's what I was saying. The amount oh, of time you can lose. Or he might have nosed the wall coming off pit road. You know how loose it is on that apron. 
That's what I'm saying. Get an on and off pit road. We've added the element in. You could lose time. And that happened to Shaq at two lap cars between them. Is that Rob in the second? I think Rob maybe short pitted these guys and took over second unless he hasn't made a stop yet. But he's remaining paced pretty nicely. I'm pretty sure he's uh, he's in second right now on older tires. I don't know. Do you happen to have Shackett's uh, link for YouTube? Big Rig's not showing any of the uh, the running order, so I can't quite tell who's doing what. Let's see if I can find it. He's now put on a clinic. Sorry, we're all quiet in here. We're both trying to search for different stuff. And we're not doing our jobs, Eagles. <laughs> I don't know if Shaq could put it in the chat. I guess I should have looked there first because I was trying to I was trying to do other things than I shouldn't be doing right now. So I'm just trying to message in the captain's chat and get some information. Let's see, where are we at? Developmental. Um got yours and bow hunters, which that doesn't do us no good. Let me see if Swamp's got his on. Oh, that's pretty good. Nice, yeah. None of these guys have their thing on. What the heck? I'm always watching mine. I don't know if Shaka does. I'm looking at Swamp's. I like to always be flipping through your mind, see where I'm at, see what the tire wears is. Some of these guys don't like to look at any of that stuff. I don't like any extra things on their screen. Got the six car going another lap down. Eagles, did you fall asleep over there? No, nope. still here. <laughs> Yeah, I think Tech is only gaining on uh, Shackett. Yeah, when I clicked on Shackett, it looked like he rubbed the wall going into three. I'm not quite sure because it, it was late when I got onto him. It looked like he had got loose off the two and probably lost time all the way down the back stretch and then took a low entry into the pits. Yeah, he's got clear sailing. He's just sitting in the groove and just just running. He ain't got no pressure. I can't even see. They're almost not even on the same straightaway. In the back stretch, he's going into into three, and I see it Shaq just in the coming out. So it's, I got a, he's got a big lead. And the advantage with the uh, Tech now see having a lot fresher tires and seem to be the better long run car. Shaq or not. Uh, uh, Technos is looking to run away with this stage should be the final stop they already made so it's just smooth sailing from now hoping for no caution uh, no need to overstep it get loose off the corner push it into the wall he can kind of ride his way to the stage win and we'll have two different winners for stage one and two if all goes clean for Technos because I can't believe I still have not found this stream Yeah, I don't have his, so I was just watching rigs. Let's see. Trying to see what it is when he crosses the line. I know he's a little bit back.
We should be getting, we're within 10 laps to go, Eagles, so. Riggs says 64, 74, so, uh, I don't know if he's one or two laps down. Yeah, I'm going to find him a stream, and then he's not even going to be streaming. <laughs> That's probably what's going to uh, happen. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I thought he was going to, but I'm not sure. One of them two is supposed to be getting me all the results, so that's what I'm hoping. If I don't get the results, then we won't get any points. It's the only bad thing about not being in the race, we don't know what's going on for sure. Hopefully at the end of the stage he can kind of pop it up here for me and see what the, what the running order is and see how many are on the lead lap. Technology. He's in the groove and he's just picking them up and putting them down. Which driver are you on right now? I'm on Hootie Who. Uh, Shaq here running him down. Actually, a couple cars getting close. Could be quite the battle here. Right ahead, uh, Big Rig and Swamp. The broadcaster's duking it out. We could actually have quite the cluster of cars here pretty soon. Because right behind these guys is Bow Hunter. Six laps to go, so it's probably about four laps to go. Get on that leader. See how far he's gapped these guys. Technasi. His uh, rear view mirror is quite clean right now as he's pulled away from all the lap traffic that was behind him. I'm curious to see how many cars go a lap down. He's running down Wrigley dust here. I, and I know this is the development group, but the amount of Sunday drivers that's in here, I expect Tech to be a contender Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, he seems to be rolling pretty good. I mean, I was up against Shackett, so it was, he was decent, I thought. And I mean, he's not bad. He's second, but I don't know. How far is the leader? Where's the leader at right now? Um, uh, Shackett's crossing one. the line right now, so. Coming out of two. You. Wow. Yeah, he's got about a straightaway width on him. Yep, actually he's coming right out of two and he's going into three. So yeah, the whole back straightaway he's got a lead. So it's not like he's got to push his car. He can just sit her in the groove and take his time. Because it's the end of the stage. So that puts Rig roughly two laps down. So that way I know... I'm going to have to listen to this stream. I hear a lot of laughing. Top four on the lead lap. Hootie, wow. or, uh, it's got Shack, or, um, Technosi, Shacket, Mac Attack, or, and Slow Marrow. So, and then lap downs, Hootie, Rob, Wrigley, Big Rig starts with two laps down, Bounty Hunter, Bow Hunter, and Swamp Rash is three laps down. So, who do you going to be on the free pass? Yep, so there'll be five, or five, five cars on the lead lap here. I'm going to rack them and stack them. Hopefully it doesn't get spread out as far as it did last time. Uh -huh. That was a pretty big... <laughs> he's not even streaming. I found it. He's not even streaming. Well, at least I found it. Well, good. Well, hopefully he's getting me my pictures. <laughs> he might not be able to stream and race. I don't know if he streams. Well, I mean, you at least have it through stream if they don't, but hopefully they do. Technosy, Shacket, Mac Attack, Slow Marrow, the top four racing here towards the middle of the pack. Wrigley, Dust, and Rob side by side here for fifth. Rob's sending it in on the outside, gonna get clear. Now Wrigley gonna power it off off the bottom, stay underneath him. Slow Marrow, 
looked underneath Mac. Not going to make the move. <laughs> Sounds like they're in there having a good time as we're putting dead air on the track. <laughs> What are you looking for now? Nothing. Oh. Pass for third here. Slow Marrow underneath Mac attack. Look at the gap Tech has already put on Shackett. Tech is starting to dominate the short run too. Hmm. He must have did some adjustments. He has figured out how to make that car go. <laughs> and I think that's a deadly combination for Sunday. Whose team is he on this? This is he on RCR? And he's on he's Gibbs. <coughs> oh, Gibbs. He's, he's one of the million replacements for Gibbs. <laughs> oh, I guess yeah, he is running a 19 car. Yeah, it was one of our requirements. If you were a guy that was in Sunday, you're supposed to run the same number over here, so we could. So he's gonna be. I don't give uh, Pittman uh, a good uh, good hope there. Got a good driver. Yeah, Steady. the only um, exception would be Bill Hunter drives the 17 on Sunday. 17 was taken by the time he joined. He's gotcha. in the six. <coughs> Still a Penske car. Not technically in real life, but we uh, our teams uh, consist of six, six drivers on each. So, um, and most of the teams on the game only have four. So we have to pick a couple randoms as long as it's the same manufacturer. Like Haas, well, we got you in the 10 and McLovin in the 4. And then we got the 41. We got Old Man Nesta. We got the 14. We got Hokey in it. And then I took the 15. And then we got Dan with the 78. So, and we run for team points, which is fun. That's that's just as much interesting as watching the driver standings. Yeah, uh, Stuart Haas has been untouchable so far this season for team points. You give it time, I think the Penske boys are going to get it together here and start making a run at her. They can, they, they, they can win the race for a second. That'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, our team's pretty good. We have a lot of experienced drivers on, and some of the other captains took some of the not too experienced. Well, we got a wreck here. First wreck down the front straightaway. I think Rig and Swamp got into it. Swamp nose first into the wall down the front straightaway. Oh, and there's Rob. And that's a caution. First caution of the night. First caution of the night. Finally, thank you, broadcasters, and we're going to have a restart. <laughs> and that means somebody's going to get back on the lead lap. Uh, let me get my phone and see if I can see who's going to be on the lead lap real quick. Well, if I look at who's running here on track, we only had five on the lead lap, so I don't know what happened to Rob. I think he f he's been top three, top four all day. It might be Hootie Who. Or Wrigley Dust, maybe. He's in front. I think it'll be Wrigley. Uh, let's see. Yep, it will be Wrigley. Wrigley Dust. Hootie Who, one spot short. But, uh... Well, Hootie Who got on the lead lap last time. So, it put Wrigley... So, we'll have... Well, we'll have... Slow Marrow's gonna restart on the front row here. Picker there did his go. job. Get him out to second. Wave oh, around for uh, Bow Hunter. Yeah. Well, I mean that that'll work if if we get a caution and we weren't too far into that run, so that might work. He might lose time now with older tires, but at least he's on the lead lap. That could actually work. It could. If we get a caution, then it really worked. But. <laughs> Technasi, Shackett now, Slow Marrow all over him, Shackett falling off a little bit throughout this race. 
Yeah, it seems to be. Yeah, racing with him during the week. I raced with Tech earlier today, and I raced with Shackett earlier this week, and Shackett, I thought, was a clear favorite coming in. Tech has no clearly doubt. made some adjustments throughout this race, but has been a contender since the start. Slow Marrow starting to come into the mix here. And Hootie Who up to fourth. I'd say I'm impressed with Hootie Who and Rob so far. I'm not sure what's going on with Rob now. He's a fall off a little bit. Rob was in part of the costume there, so I don't know if uh, he's got back in the mix and now he's got to fight his way through. You start getting back with them lap cars and trying to trying to get around them, you know, with this restart, they might have gained, gained some on him. Yeah, it was weird because it looked like he was falling off there in that previous run, so I'm not sure if he had damage and didn't fix it. Wow. I imagine he would have. With only being 10 guys in here, I would say he, he, he should have fixed it. Did you see that message, Martin? I did not. Check it out, what Ken I just sent. Where did you send it? I'm not sure what chat it was. Yeah. It was exclusive. Oh, yeah. Wow. So we lost a fellow racer today. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. So, uh, he ran in the Winter Series, I think. Did he? I don't remember. Technasi, I'm trying to find him. What's going on here towards the front of the field? Technasi, jeez, he's driven away from everybody else. There's a good gap between the top three and then fourth and fifth are still right there. So kind of a five car runaway here. Caution out again. Must be. Oh, looks like Bowhunter's got damage. He stayed out under that last caution, got the wave around. But for a caution to come out, two would have had to have been involved. Nobody else is damaged. Maybe them tires didn't stick and you lost her. Rack them back up, boys. So it looks like we had 11 tonight, Martin. There's still 10 in the race. Is there 11? Okay. And then uh, uh, TCR D-dubs in the pit. So we did have 11 tonight. Not too bad for the first night. I mean, we had 16 signing up, and we had a little guys that out because they were scared. So we'll get some more in here to start. Yeah, and if anybody's watching and is interested in joining ERL, um, always looking to take drivers. Um, you know, if you want to be able to handle racing with 30 cars on Sunday, um, we, we'd really like to grow this this field in the development series to get you guys used to running. You know, it's not very often you run with numbers that big, so even 11 a night is good. Especially if you're mid-pack, you got guys in front of you, guys behind you. I'd really like to get some more guys in here. I'd like to have. I mean, I'm not gonna. I don't want to put a cap on it because when guys don't show up. You can rely on still having numbers. You know, when you right. push it to 16 right. and a couple don't show up, then you only have 10, 11, 12. Um, you know, we, I don't care if we, we have 30 on Sunday, we can handle 20 here, I feel like. If you can't, oh, yeah. maybe we need to make a development development league for you. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I mean, even if they don't want to run Sundays and just want to come in here and run Wednesdays, that's fine too. They don't have to be locked yeah, in for like, a Sunday Yeah, spot. exactly. Yeah, there's a couple guys in here that are booked up on Sunday, such as Mac Attacks. And again, running for points, got a championship on the line here in the development series. If you're ever open to run Sundays as a fill-in or permanently if you get picked up by a team. Um, Martin, uh, this is actually probably a dumb question. I'm not sure if there's any insight on this. I'm sure these guys are probably going to be curious as to the end of the season, what's going on. We're probably not that far along yet, but do you know what's going to happen with teams next year? Is it going to be like a free agency deal and you can drop people? 
How's that going to work? Because maybe these guys want to get picked up. It was talked about it was going to be a free agency deal. If you build your team, you can keep your team. If you want to let drivers go, and um, other drivers can pick, or other team, captains can pick them up. So uh, I don't think we're doing the draft thing because I don't really think that works out because drivers get picked that don't want to be on that team. So we'd rather the drivers get along. Like our our team is is a lot of. All, all of us have been friends for many years, so it's it's more like we like to hang out, not only on here, as you pick on us about playing SnowRunner. You know, <laughs> what, uh, four of our guys on the team play SnowRunner Mondays and Tuesdays just to get a break from this game because we're wore out from this old game. Big Rig and Swamp are duking it out for last place right now. <laughs> uh, let's give them some TV time, I guess, huh? I mean, they have been duking it out. I think somebody got the wall off the floor. <laughs> oh, Swamp's going to the grass. Swamp's That's now a lawnmower. Good. Swamp said I had enough. He's pulling over. He's retiring. Do some donuts quitter. for us. What a quitter. Do some donuts for us. <laughs> Come on. He's old. Maybe he has to take a bathroom break. He didn't want to pee in his car. <laughs> what, does he have a yellow fire suit? It'll be all right. <laughs> It's probably white. It's probably Michael Jordan fire suit. So he wouldn't or didn't want to be like Danny Hamlin that white uh, yellow stains on his white suit. <laughs> well, if it's uh, Michael Jordan, then <laughs> it's not like you're ruining any good product. <laughs> oh, you better watch for the Michael Jordan fans. There's some. There's a lot of those. <laughs> yeah. Still sitting down on pit road or next to pit road. Maybe he's retired for the night, or he probably taking a party break. This gap between Tech and Shaq, it has not grown, but it's not shrunk. And I feel like the gap between Shaq and third has stayed similar. Slow Marrow has figured something out here in this third position. Rob has raced his way back up to fourth. So we talked about it. He fell off uh, two cautions ago and then had that issue last caution. Came back and he's up to fourth here, maybe looking for third. Got his car back together. Mac attack uh, fifth. I think Swamp's in the infield. He's getting ready to do his burnout. He's going to celebrate his last place finish, I guess. Well, second last. Yeah, I give him props. <laughs> yeah, I guess second last. We got one to quit already. Quitters. <laughs> That's one thing we don't like in this place, quitters. Tell you what, the dedication for the Sunday. Who was that that accidentally come in a slider and ran that whole race? NF and real. Back up? NF real. You got to give him props because he did, he knew we wanted to keep our our drivers in there, and he stuck it out. I don't think I could even did that. I, I, I would not have done that. I wouldn't <laughs> even have went into turn one because the brakes on a slider suck, and I would have taken the field out. So. <laughs> Yeah, no, that, to run a whole 100% race at Road America, um, there's the road course, the road courses are 100%, and he finished that thing. It may not have been on the lead lap, he may not have run all the laps, but he ran more laps than McLovin did, so. <laughs> oh, now you're rubbing on McLovin, you better watch it. <laughs> I think McLovin got credited for a dead last finish, I think. I'm not sure. But there was a there was a good reason behind it. His TV turned off as he's racing. That, that would give you a shock. <laughs> he just drove it right into the wall. <coughs> Up, we got some movement out of the 45. Is he is he thinking about it? He got his tires cooled down. Yep, he just turned. He wants to watch the cars go around. He's even uh, doing some, probably he's probably commentating from the infield. <laughs> I don't know if he likes to commentate because he's, he's kind of wanting to be behind the scenes and he's doing a good job at that. So he doesn't actually do much of the commentating, he just does the behind the scenes stuff? He does the behind the scenes stuff, yes. He's the one that gets all them screen grabs and puts it together and... He even makes the stuff in the beginning of it, before the race, all the highlight reel. You yeah, got trackside on YouTube commenting. He said, what's up? And then he said, that is so mean. I'm not sure when he sent that, what he was referring to, but you're mean, Martin. <coughs> I'm mean. Maybe yeah, you're mean. You. 
He said bad is so mean. Nah, he didn't say me. Bad is he so didn't mean. say Melvin. I mean Eagles. He said bad. Well, he needs to elaborate what we're talking about because sometimes we go off the wall and talk. I don't know. I'm not sure what he said that. I didn't look at it. Oh, Who maybe because he was. To? I don't know. Maybe he's talking about him going to pee. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Tech is stunk up the show here. I'm going to have to get on the radio and tell him slow it down before uh, that car fails post race inspection. Up, oh, Shack Attack just disconnected or something. He is oh, in the no. pits. Wow. That's good. Did he give up? Did he give up? Did he? Oh, come on, Shack Attack. Just because you're not winning know. doesn't mean you got to give up. I don't know. He better come up to the booth and explain himself. Yeah, we should do that. We should uh, do in race interviews. Well, let me in jump here. in here and see if I can uh, send him an invite. He should already be in this booth, but I don't know if he'll have the courage to come up here. Oh, trackside is doctors. So we got TCR doctor watching. We got Nesta watching. Oh, Nesta wants you to come making money. Oh, Nesta wants me to come to SnowRunner, see? Probably yeah, a better Nesta place because I'm not a very good commentator. Oh, we got Swamp moving here onto the track a little the, bit. He's going the, again. Oh, he must have must get done with his bathroom yeah, break. Just, and yeah, he's just a little halftime. Yeah, just a little bit of halftime. He's back going again. Refuel. See, I'm, I'm too old to run a full race. Let me pull over here and take a nap, maybe. That's funny. Now he's going again. <laughs> Hey, he's gonna get at least top 10 finish. Oh, Shaq has to bring the dog to the vet. Hopefully it's not an emergency. Hopefully that was a planned <laughs> vet visit. Hopefully it's not an emergency. I wouldn't think it would be a planned vet visit this time of night, so... Hopefully everything is good there. Yeah. Dog con for Ford in the developmental series, I can promise you that much. I don't know about oh, the yeah. Sunday series. No, I'm just playing. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, no. I, I understand, Shaq. It, we're only, you know, again, first race here. He's got plenty of time to uh, make points up and run for a championship here in the developmental series. I'm not sure he is a broadcaster, but maybe. Maybe he'll Jacket? get the nod. Yeah. Yeah, he's a broadcaster. He's, yeah, I'm saying he's a broadcaster, but maybe he'll get the nod and... and Oh, Put yeah. on the fire suit, race a little bit. I think he would a like to. Or... Hey, and you know what? Shackett is easily good enough to race with us on Sundays. So I sure is. I'd like to see him maybe even get picked up by a team and, and race with us. That'd be awesome. We got a battle here. I'm not sure what position this is for. It's probably for second now. Uh, Rob, Slow Marrow, and Mac Attack fighting for a top three. We also got, I mean, Technosy. I mean, at this point, man, pop that thing into second gear and uh, rev the engine out a little bit, slow down, do some pace laps, and <laughs> give us a show to watch. That's, the, that's right, 19 is looking strong. Technosy. Pittman, if you're watching or if you ever view this, you got a good driver here in Tech. Okay. Oh, Thinking up the developmental series. First race here. Him and Shackett were the two best cars tonight. Shackett not going to be able to finish. Well, quite the battle here between Rob, Slow Marrow, and Mac Attack. We should be down to about 23 laps to go or so. I assume they have a pit stop yet to make, so it's going to be what, 0 1 1 then on pits? Have they put it yet? Well, they had cautions in this stage, so it's hard that's to That's true, there. yep, that's true. Tell Nesta, hey Nesta, you need to be uh, just making making runs and getting ready for me to cash in when I come in that room. Oh, uh, 99 was loose, or 43 was loose there. Coming off the of two, hanging on to it. Mac Attack has taken over third from Slow Marrow. Good, consistent night here by Mac Attack. Awesome to see him have a good run here tonight. Love that Mac Attack is back racing with us. I've known Mac for a long time. Excited to get him in our, our developmental group. Where are we at next week? It's Martinsville, so another short track. Martinsville next week. Oh boy. Nesta. Slow Marrow right on the back of the next one. What's he saying? He said Eagles. 
is not uh, his name is not what <laughs> is name oh you mean his or is name is I don't know I don't know Nesta I don't speak uh, whatever that is clarify <laughs> oh, so Mark, I gotta ask you how often do you think you're gonna be in the booth for Wednesday night is this a one time thing is this a part time thing do you plan to be up here every week do you plan to make special appearances but what, what's your what are you looking like here uh, for Wednesday I don't, night I have no idea I just figured I'd come up and help you out a little bit tonight even though we're not doing a very good job <laughs> a lot of long pauses in here and we're not not keeping up with it well you're doing a good job but I, I'm not one to follow it very well you guys you guys well, got a I have to it. commend you all the broadcasts that I've done I've done broadcasts with many different people you have kept up with it pretty good tonight and you you've given pretty good insight you know because you as a captain um, you've, you know you know a lot that's going on in the league and I feel like you've done a good job here tonight he says Mac Attack is not his name. All right, well, it's what is it? Mach One Mac. I'm calling him Mac Attack. He's yeah. always been Mac Attack. I'm calling him Mac Attack. Yeah, when well, you know him for yeah you know, five six years, it's Mac Attack. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he got loose. I was watching Mac here. They've Rob, really put Rob a little gap around this one now. These three. Got quite the battle going on. I mean, I'd walk, te I'd watch Tech Nasi. Well, we might as well watch him for a little bit. Coming up on some lap traffic here, Bow Hunter, and uh, Swamp. Tech Nasi coming up on lap traffic. We'll see how well he gets through it. There is already a Mac Attack. I've known Mac Attack for four years. I don't know where the heck Mark Mac Attack came from. I don't know him very well. But uh, Mac Attack is Mac Attack. We'll call Mark Mac Attack. If that's who you're referring to, we'll call him Mark or we'll call him Mark Mac Attack or we'll call him Mark Mac. Or we'll call him Mark Let's Attack. Mac. I'm calling him Mac Attack. Mac. <laughs> Tell him if you don't like it, change the channel. Yeah, change the channel to uh, uh, Fox News. Don't, don't keep your shit up, Nesta. See, remember, you're on a fine line. You're a troublemaker. <laughs> He's got by Swamp now, trying to get by Bow Hunter. <coughs> Max got in front of this group, too. Tech is putting a beating on him. He's got more than a straightaway on the entire field so far. <laughs> Nesta. <laughs> Glad we got viewers tonight. Glad we got uh, some people tuning in to the developmental series. More racing here going on. These three are going at it. They are. Rob, Mac Attack, and Slow Marrow. Mac was around him, and then uh, Rob got back around him, so it's definitely a race here. Who to who? All in a zip code of his own right now. Wrigley Dust kind of in the same boat. Three cars here. In a nutshell, and we're going to have four here in a minute as they close in on Big Rig. Oh, Mac wanted to get under him. Rob, close the door. I just answered you back, so I wasn't paying attention. <coughs> Alright, so we just got word here, middle of the broadcast. Um, it's not very often that this happens, but fellow racer on this game, it's a NASCAR community, so a, feather, a fellow racer on this game from the TCR squad, TCR Rickster. Um, we got 
note that he passed away today and uh, it always is awful and it doesn't happen very often that somebody from the community um, goes like that so we're going to do a moment of silence and honor for TCR Rickster because it's a NASCAR community and we hate to see things like that happen so we're going to ride around with our leader here um, Technasi and uh, we're going to do we'll do a lap of silence There you go. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to TCR Rickster uh, and his family. Um, hate to see things like that happen. Um, so uh, prayers go out to their family. Um, back onto the race here. Technasi Martin, he is still stinking up this show. He's lapping everybody. I think he's on a quest to uh, lap the whole field at this rate. Yeah, I would say he's getting pretty close. So where's he at right now? Are you on him? I am. He's entering three. He's entering three, and right now, just past the exit of pit road, is these three guys that have been duking it out for what's this oh, second, third, and fourth now? I think he just went through the grass here. I think that's it. I think that's his little victory uh, slide through the grass. All right. So uh, Technasi, stage two winner and the race winner, and what a way to open up the season here. Season opener for our developmental series, Technasi and Victor Lane. Awesome. Well, you stop the stream. Technasi. Let's go see how did that third place battle And go Rob on? and then Slomero. So Mac Attack was fourth. Mac right? was fourth, Wrigley fifth, Hootie sixth. Bill Hunter 7th, Big Rig 8th, Swamp 9th, and Shackett was 10th. And then TCRD Dubs was 11th. Alright. Wow. Season opener at Richmond here. Um, 11 cars. Pretty good turnout for tonight. Super excited to get this thing rolling. We'll be back in Martinsville next week. But before we do that, got to get these three in the booth. We got Technasi, what was a Slow Marrow, and Rob. Do you have slow mail? If you can add him, I got the other two. You say Rob was second and then Slum Arrow third. Oh, let me look. I took a picture. Rob was second, Slum Arrow third. Yep. And Technology is a winner. see if they come appreciate everybody who tuned in tonight and um, we had a good amount of viewers tonight so excited to see the um, support people tuning in to watch our development series trying to see if we can get Rob and uh, slow marrow in here did you invite slow marrow all right I got Rob 
Let me back out of here and go yell at him. There's Rob. Just waiting for a third place slow marrow to get in here. We might just jump and do second, maybe even first, because I don't see a slow marrow here. So, all right. Well, while Martin is jumping over there, hopefully he'll jump back. Um, we're going to talk with our second place finisher, um, Rob. I know I, I brought you in the day of the race, and uh, you show up. You have a pretty competitive race. Um, walk me through. Um, your uh, your race and you know, what do you think of this developmental series so far? You know 11 cars showed up for the first race, which is a decent turnout um, Walk me through your race and you know, what do you expect going forward in uh, in this series? Awesome. Uh, appreciate you joining us here as we try to grow our developmental league. Um, you know, getting you in the day of the race. I don't know how much practice you had. Could have been too much, late notice, but you got on and ran an awesome race, finished second. Um, appreciate you joining us, and um, hopefully, you know, in the coming weeks, you'll you'll get the nod and either be able to race um, as a fill-in or, you know, maybe a hot seat or maybe get a permanent ride for our Sunday series if, of course, you're interested in doing that. Um, not required, of course. You know, this is its own separate series with its own separate point standings, but, hey, awesome run tonight. You know, it's going to be awesome getting to know you, seeing your driving abilities, and uh, awesome run tonight, man. Yep. All right, so I don't see the seven of slow marrow in here, so we're gonna jump right over to our race winner, um, Tech Nasi. Man, how how you doing, man? <laughs> doing great. Yeah, I, I bet you are. Um, so you showed up. Uh, you were practicing before the race. I was on with you a little bit, and uh, you showed up, and it looked like Shackett had the better of you there in the first stage, but you put it on in the second stage, and you put it on a little more in the final stage. Stage two winner, race winner. Walk me through your race, and how'd you do it? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, this, I'm not really a big fan of short track racing, so, you know, I was expecting, you know, not to be that great but you know i mean as the race was going on i just felt i just felt more confident you know i was getting into this rhythm because i think richmond is definitely a rhythm racetrack so i mean once i started getting the laps going you know i felt more confident my lap times were faster and uh yeah i mean i pretty much dominated the last two stages but yeah i mean fought a bit with Shaq there in the in the first stage um uh, got the stage win i was able to get around him in the second stage there during pit stops and uh and yeah i mean pretty much it was pretty much smooth sailing after that so great run and uh hopefully i can uh be just as quick on sunday for the main race yeah good point you bring up there um you're gonna be back in it on sunday so did you i'm just curious did you make any in race changes or did you let the car go uh during the race um I just made some a little pit adjustment there during the race. Uh, Do you plan to make sucked. that adjustment permanent going into the race on Sunday, or you plan to let the car go and maybe make that same adjustment in race? What's your plan? There's, you know, you've had a full race of practice. You know, has anything changed? Are you gonna make any adjustments going into the race Sunday? Yeah, I think I'll make the uh, the adjustments that I made there during the race. I'm ready there for uh, for Sunday's race there for sure. Um, just needed to be a little bit tighter on exit and uh once i got that going i mean the car was pretty much felt perfect for me so 
Awesome. Well, looked like you, you were uh, in control out there, had a great handling car. We noticed there in the second stage, you really started to put it on Shaq there on the long run. And then the third stage opened up, and you were putting it on him on the short run. So you, you certainly got her hooked up. You know, I'm sure Pittman is going to be excited to have you racing for Gibbs. You're going to put a lot of points up for that team. I'm excited to see what you can do this season. I'm excited to race against you come Sunday. Um, so awesome run tonight. Already got a win in the books for the development series. Um, awesome run tonight, man. Thank you, and uh, thanks for having me. Yep. Well, I'm not sure where Martin went, but got to appreciate all the viewers that uh, watched tonight and you know supported the stream. Um, hopefully that race was entertaining enough. 11 guys showing up for our first event. Not bad. Um, so pretty pleased with that. Um, we're going to move on to Martinsville next week and hopefully put on a good show there. So, you know, good win to Tech and, you know, top two there for Rob. And Slow Mario didn't make it in here, but we'll see him also on Sunday. So, um awesome race tonight by all drivers and see you guys at martinsville